The example of the tree species classification in Australia is given in this, in this figure. Here we have a stereo aerial photograph um, showing a silver-leafed ironbark, eucalyptus mandifloria in uh, blue, the blue crowns, and the more olivey crowns are a species called eucalyptus populonea or poplar box. We have found by taking the Melix vetra, uh, we can classify these to an accuracy that exceeds 85%, and even with a more diverse range of species, we get equivalent accuracies. So our upgrade experience. The Phineas technology has significantly advanced our capacity, our capacity to understand terrestrial ecosystems has allowed us to, first of all, convey the information content of remotely sensed data to ecologists charged with routine mapping and monitoring of habitats, primarily through the use of rule-based classification procedures. We've been able to operationally integrate satellite and airborne sensor data, as well as ancillary information, for example, vector layers, from a range of sources to help with the classification. We can undertake complex and flexible analyses at a range of scales, from the tree to the landscape, as shown in Australia and in Wales, supervision of a wide range of ruleware. And we can create a ruleware that is reliable and transferable between centres and regions, as demonstrated for our Welsh study in particular. And finally, we can scale up locally derived process to the regions through provision of batch processing. Mm -hmm.